On the production side of things, we really try to strike a nice balance of being super modern, but also super organic, realistic, and making sure that nothing sounds like a computer or a robot. Everything sounds like it's coming from the band, but it's as punchy and modern as anything else out there. Hey, I'm uh, Christian Donaldson. I'm a metal producer based uh, of Montreal, a guitar player from the band Cryptopsy. And uh, I've been working with uh, several bands uh, like uh, like Beyond Creation, Shadow of Intent, uh, Signs of the Swarm, uh, Beneath the Massacre, Despised Icon, uh, to name a few. I met Chris, uh, well, the first time we actually spoke was... Uh, Uh, by the internet, he wanted me to mix uh, a single, and I guess he liked my work because he called me back to uh, to record the drums on uh, on Melancholy, and uh, it went up super super well. In the end, like we, uh, I was doing a test mix for this album, and since that time, like we've been working together, and uh, I couldn't be happier. For the mixing and mastering, he's really brought a large amount of clarity and punch to all the music. It really makes the music a lot more cinematic to hear everything as aggressive as it is. We're really happy to have him on board again. The hardest thing about this record was the fact that they couldn't cross the borders to come record drums with me. So, uh, like, they had to hire uh, Carson Solvac to uh, to do the drums for me. So that was a little tricky because we, we I wasn't there and we had to go back and forth with all the drums files and just me checking them and to make sure like they were to my likings uh also the the cool thing about uh, technology these days is like we can mix with software uh, like audio mover so they can basically hear my stream in real time and i can make the changes while uh, facetiming them so it's almost like if, if they were mixing the next to me time it comes this is in. The second time. oh then it would be the first time okay, cool. uh, the second time I, i wasn't gonna put any vocals i over. had an idea that maybe When writing the orchestral arrangements, I've always had one other person kind of looking at them with me. On the first album we did, we had this guy, Randy Pascarella. On the second album, we had this girl, Kelsey Harjita. But on Melancholy in this album, we've been working with this awesome guy named Francesco. Uh, he plays keyboards in a band called Flesh God Apocalypse. I met Shadow of Intent uh, for the first time in 2018 and we were uh, on a tour together with uh, the Black Dahlia Murder and Whitechapel and they were uh, one of the opening bands and I, uh, I immediately realized uh, the potential that this band had. Sometimes it's not easy uh, for, you know, time difference and also being really far away so there's no Uh, physical connection and you can't exactly sit in the same room with them and work with them in the same studio uh, since the the first album we worked on together and also on this last time which required I would say some extra effort from me uh, but everything really really worked well because we, we have I think that in many things we are on the same page So uh, there's a connection between us that, that works really well. So uh, the distance in the end didn't uh, represent a, a big issue. Francesco is capable of creating incredibly realistic and detailed orchestral arrangements. So going back and forth with him has really taken our sound design to the next level. It's a, it's typical shadow of intent, and there's always like a lot of orchestrations, and that's always struggle. It's always a massive struggle to put it together and to make sure that you hear everything while it's still heavy. So that was like the most challenging thing, like to get all those orchestrations at the right spot and the right level. It's a it's a it's a really heavy record, so we just have to make it sound as heavy as possible, and also try to keep the drum as dynamic and as real as it is because uh you know the performance was really good and we want to hear we want to hear like the real performance and we don't want to don't want to hear uh, electronic drums or, or triggering or something we want to hear the performance first and so that was something another challenge 
uh, me and Chris Wiseman uh, agreed that uh, the band needed a very organic sound, a very classical sound, uh, something old-fashioned in a way. So everything is pretty much sounding organic. There's a little bit of sound design, but everything is uh, pretty much coming from organic sounds. And 90% uh, of it is coming from classical instruments. So uh, in some ways, I'm bringing my, my experience with Flashcard Apocalypse into their music. And that's, that's, how, uh, th that's how it works for us. You know, the best thing about Shadow of Intent is... Uh that they don't care about any trends or any any other things like that they're really just trying to write the best songs as possible and they're succeeding they, they're always they will always go for what is the best for songs and on top of that they have uh, killer musicians so it just i just do believe it's the perfect recipe to make it uh, a great band you just have great songs great musicianship and not care about whatever is trendy just make it the best as you can just seeing how the band has grown over the years has only increased my drive and passion for continuing to grow the band and keep making the best music, put on the best shows that we possibly can. Just the direction that everything is going, I'm, I'm really, really stoked on. Um, just trying to think like on a bigger picture, you know, so it's been really cool to be a part of it and I'm very excited uh, about the future and where it's headed. Blending symphonic music with, uh, with uh, heavy metal and especially extreme metal is not an easy task. And I think that Shadow of Intent really succeed doing that. Definitely really happy that things turn out the way uh, it did. I think all of us dreamed as teenagers growing up playing music uh, and doing the stuff that we do. It's, it's really awesome to see how many people enjoy Shadow of Intent and I think it's definitely uh, making us more excited uh, the further we go to just keep doing what we do and making uh, new music. <laughs>